Good morning everyone and welcome to TransWest Truck Trailer RV. We're located in Frederick, Colorado. That's just a half an hour shot north of Denver. Uh, today we're going to talk about one of the new M2s that we have on the lot. But before we get into that, I wanted to tell you a little bit of a background on me. I grew up in northeastern Colorado near a little town called Wiggins. I then attended Northeastern Junior College on a livestock judging scholarship and then on to Colorado State University. I judged on the livestock judging team there as well and got my uh, Bachelor of Science degree in Animal Science. I still live out in, in near the Wiggins area. Uh, I've been married for about 17 years now to my wife Misty. I have two of the hardest working kids you'll meet. Uh, my daughter is Amelia, she's 16, heavily involved in uh, 4-H, FFA, and the church. Uh, my son Gus turns 12 next week, um, also heavily involved in 4-H and the baseball program there in Wiggins as well. I've been with TransWest just shy of five years now. Uh, really feel blessed to be working for such a good company that has the leadership and the mentality that they do. They treat the, the workers along with the customers correctly, and that's important. Now on to about the truck. This is a 2021 Freightliner M2 106. The conversion is Summit Hauler. So we'll start by taking a look in front of the truck. When we take a look directly in front, we can see a couple of the upgrades from the 2020s to the 2021s. The biggest difference from this angle is the lights. They're all LED now. That wasn't the case before. Other than that, it's basically stayed the same. You can tell that the bumper is broken into three parts. So if we get a ding on one section, we can just replace that compared to uh, replacing the entire bumper. This is stock number 5N201095. Now let's take a look under the hood. That is the Cummins 8.9 liter engine. It is coupled with the Allison 3200 TRV transmission. This offers 350 horsepower and 1,050 foot-pounds of torque. A couple other things we can see underneath the hood. This is the fuel water separator right here. In addition, here's where we would put in the power steering fluid. Now, as you notice, there's quite a variance in terms of colors underneath here. Where we see red, we're not going to worry about that stuff. We're going to let the mechanics worry about that. But where we see yellow, is things you and I can check. For example, right here is where we would check the oil and straight across from us is where we would check or add coolant. Now, as we go back and walk down the side of the truck, I'll show you where the batteries are located. But if we leave lights on, things like that, and we need to jumpstart the vehicle, we can do that from up here. So we're not having to tear everything apart um, to get to the batteries to jump it. Okay, so say we're under here, we're checking our oil, doing our pre-trip inspections, that sort of thing, and a gust of wind comes up, that hood, guys, is gonna stop. The only way to get it all the way down is to manually force it down. And we latch the hood right here. Now our mirrors, they're breakaway, so if we hit something, they're not gonna break, they're just gonna kinda go back to where they need to go back to. Couple of things up here, this is our block heater. Obviously, something we're gonna be using this time of year back here in Colorado. Furthermore, this is the trickle charger. So we can, that's basically an extension cord, so when we're on our travels at night and we run around the DVD player, or turn the lights on, things of that nature, we can hook into an outlet and that assists the batteries in staying charged as well. The truck does come with two 50 gallon fuel tanks, one on each side, one right here. Now as the truck is sitting here like it is, that fuel level is balancing itself out. However, when you go to fuel your truck, you're gonna wanna fill those 
tanks independently. It comes with a six gallon depth tank located right here. The recent data is showing about 300 miles per one gallon of depth. Now, as we take a look at the driver's seat, we are proud to offer the most comfortable seats on the market today. In addition, this is air ride, so that's gonna make things more comfortable as you're going up and down the road. Here's where we would adjust the air in the seats. This is for heated and cooled seats right here. It does have built-in lumbar, so people with bad backs, boy, we're gonna like that. So we can adjust how much air we want in or out of the back of the seat. Right here is the kill switch. Guys, there's a lot of electricity and voltage going through the truck. So it is a good practice when you shut the truck off to go on ahead and kill that kill switch, especially this time of year. Right here is where we start our truck. And when you start it, you're gonna to wanna to turn that about halfway, let those gauges go all the way over and come all the way back before we go ahead and start the truck. The reason for that is if we get in a hurry and just jump in and start it, there's a couple of negatives. One, first and foremost, that's really not good on the engine, especially this time of year. And second of all, there is a chance that you'll kick a code on the, uh, that simply doesn't exist. So be a little patient when we go to start the vehicles. Another thing we can see from here, this little pedal right here, that actually adjusts the steering wheel. So when you're sitting in the driver's seat, you press that, and that will allow you to adjust your telescope up and down and telescopically as well. So we take a look in the back seat. Just like all haulers, this does make down into a bed. And I checked and this does meet DOT requirements in terms of a bed. So to put that up, simply press the button and that goes right back up. We do offer three storage components on each side. The other side matches this one. So if we take a look in the front one, not only can we see how much space is actually available there, but in addition, there is a hookup for an air hose if one's needed. As we continue to walk around, you'll see the truck is lined. Now if we could take a close up view of the hitch, this truck comes with, it's called a trailer saver hitch, made by Hensley. And as you can see, there's a couple of airbags located underneath that from behind. There's one up front as well. So as we're going up and down the road, basically guys, that trailer is going on air. So that's gonna save wear and tear, not only on the trailer, but the truck as well. A unique thing about Summit Hauler is this bed is made of aluminum, so this isn't steel. So as we project the longevity of the truck, it's going to look very similar uh, 10 years from now as it does today. Here's the hookups for the lights located right here. Now here's hookups for additional cameras. It uses the Voyager system, so you can hook up to two more cameras as well. Some guys like to put additional cameras on the side of the truck. Well, right there is where we would hook those up. Underneath this plate is a hitch for a bumper pull trailer. You know, a, a lot of people that are, are in the market kind of looking at this, these trucks are also maybe be in the market for a pickup. Well, there's a whole lot of difference between this and a pickup truck and the primary focus is safety. So let's, let's take a look just real quick at what safety advantages are to this truck compared to a pickup. Well, obviously taking a look at it, this truck is gonna be bigger. So if we're in an accident, the chances of us walking away from this are substantially higher than a pickup truck. An ad another advantage is the braking system. 
This truck comes with air brakes. Compare that to hydraulics from a pickup. The main advantage there is if we get a slight leak in a hydraulic line, what's going to happen? That's just going to continue to leak out until it's either replaced or all of it's gone. So if we go to hit those brakes and there's nothing in there, we've got a severe problem. Well, if we get a small leak in, in the air brakes, we have an unlimited supply of air, so we can just continue to hit those brakes until we get the opportunity just to swap out those air lines. So that's two of the major advantages to this has over a pickup truck. When we look at the side view from this side, it simply matches the other side as well. Right here is the other fuel tank that you and I visited about. It does come with Michelin 255 80 R22.5 tires. Another unique thing about the Summit Hauler conversion is this right here. That's a tire balancer. So they come on all of the tires. Now that has some BBs in it with a little bit of hydraulic oil. So as you gain speed and as you gain momentum, that balances the entire rotating mass. So let's look at what that does for it. Well, yeah, it makes it a more comfortable ride because everything's balanced. But, and perhaps more importantly, it makes it safer. Plus, it will prolong the life of these tires as well. Now, let's take a look at the inside. kind of go front to rear up here is our backup camera and that's where we would see I told you we could hook up additional cameras to it right there's where we would check that out right over here is our air horn as we come down it does have just a normal horn there as well the gauges are pretty self-explanatory guys it does come with two gauges for the air tanks since there does require so much air it does have two uh, gauges for the air it's an automatic transmission very very simple to drive r for reverse n for neutral and d for drive right now we're sitting here in neutral with our our air brake on they are equipped for air supply for the trailers if you do purchase the truck and you have a trailer that that does have air we have glad hands available it's very simple for us to get that hooked up for you right here is where we will lock the differential now this is the air dump that lets air out of the back of the truck an example of when we would use that is when we're going to hook up the trailer let all the air out and back up to hook up your trailer and then put it back to to where it was for our, our air ride this is a new button for this year. This is the light test. So when we're doing our pre-trip inspections, we can turn those lights on and get out and make sure everything is working properly before we, we start our voyage for the day. This is the fan uh, for the air that goes to the back of the, the cab. So red is for hot, blue is for cold, so we can blow more air back there. This is our trailer brake here. Now this is the engine brake. So an example of when we would use that is say we're right next door in the Rocky Mountains and we're coming down, you know, a steep decline. We press that on high and we actually have 287 horsepower coming back at us. So we talked about some safety advantages right there is one because it's really slowing you down when you're coming on a deep decline. This here is the climate control. One thing we failed to mention right above here is the DVD player located here. Um, additional storage, a couple of cup holders, and some storage located here. So this is a, one of the brand new trucks that we have on the lot. If you guys have any questions about it or anything on the lot, please feel free to give me a call. My cell phone number is 970-370-4067. The work extension 303-684-3404. Guys, feel free to email me, larry.vickers at transwest.com. Thanks for tuning in today.